Work is done on an object when a force moves an object through a distance. The key word here is moves. No work is done if the force doesn't move through a distance. In order for work to be done in physics, a force has to travel through a distance. And there's a nice easy equation for calculating the work done by a force, and its work is equal to force times distance where d is the distance the object has moved or the distance through which the force has acted and f is the applied force this is very important that is parallel to the distance and of course force is in newtons so if you multiply a newton times a meter you get newton meters another name for that in the SI system is the joule and it's very important that the force and the distance be parallel to each other here we have a box of facial tissue that's lifted at constant speed from the ground to a height of 1.08 meters. Let's find the work that the lifter does on the box. We're applying a force upward and that force is acting through a certain distance. The box of course has a weight equal to m times g and if this box is going up at a constant speed then the applied force must be numerically equal to m times g. That's a carryover from our unit on Newton's laws. So the work that the lifter does is equal to the applied force times the distance. And we said just a minute ago that the applied force is equal to m times g. m, of course, cannot be expressed in grams. We have to change it into kilograms. I trust you know how to do that. We're going to assume we're on Earth for lack of any other information. So G is 9.81 meters per second squared and there's our distance 0.672 joules. Now let's try a student carrying the tissue box 3.2 meters to the right at a constant height of 1.08 meters above the floor. How much work does gravity do on the box? Gravity pulls straight downward always and the distance that this box moves is to the right. Those are in no way parallel. Therefore, gravity does no work on this box and that's because the weight and the distance are perpendicular to each other. In physics, work is done on an object when a force moves the object through a distance. There's the equation for calculating work the unit for work is newton meters or joules. The force in the equation must be a force or a component of a force that is either in the same direction as the motion or exactly opposite to it. That is, the force has to be parallel to the distance. Forces that are perpendicular to a displacement do no work on the object.